Right, hello guys. Um, I thought I'd do a little vinyl collection video. I know I've said I'd do it on a community post, so I'm going to stick to my word. I'm going to show you all my vinyls. But CDs I'm a little more hesitant to do because I've got loads of them. And it just gets really boring to talk about them. I'm not sure why, but yeah. As of now, I think I've got about 14 vinyls. Most of them are electronic music, obviously. But I do have a bit of rock, a bit of hip-hop. So I could, that's cool, I guess. Okay, so first up, my Aphex Twin Vinyls. I've got Come To Daddy here, and I've also got Peel Session 2. I wonder what happened to Peel Session 1. <laughs> um, anyway, so here I kind of got a bit um, snubbed because there is four tracks on this thing, and you'll probably notice if you go on the streaming service, whatever your preferred streaming service is, there is eight songs. So I bought this thinking that there was eight songs on the physical release when there's only four, which is Come To Daddy Pappy Mix, Flim, Come To Daddy Little Lord Faltoroy Mix, and Bucephalus Bouncing Ball. So I was dead annoyed that um, IZUS wasn't on there, but oh well. And obviously, you know, we've got Peel Session 2, Slow Bird, Whistle, Radiator, P-String, Pancake Lizard. So there's that. That was pretty cheap as well. And also, it is worth noting, um, I have pre-ordered Black Box Live Recorder 21F slash Forgot the Other Song EP. So, that's cool. As of now, I haven't got it, obviously, but it'll, it'll come at the end of July when it's released, so that's cool, I guess. Next, we've got another legendary outfit in the F electronic community. Balls of Canada, Geo Daddy. Now, I was, I would get, you know, Music Has the Right to Children on vinyl, but I've got it on CD already, so I don't really see the point. You know, this this is obviously a legendary album. My favourites on here are probably like Music is Math, Sunshine Recorder maybe, or Julian Candy as well for sure. So yeah, really cool album. Next up we have Bonobo's Black Sands. This was just one that I kind of picked up, just like chance in it at HMV. And I was just like, huh, Bonobo, I've heard of that before. I'm gonna try it. Turns out this is a really great album. I actually really like songs on here like Kong, Kiara, and many more. So, great album, check it out. Probably my favorite album of 2010 as it stands. Next up we've got Biceps, self-titled. I got this from HMV, but I was also kind of seeking it out at the same time. Um, this is probably the most expensive one that I've got. You know, there is 12 tracks on here. And um, yeah, my favorite has to be Glue. I mean, come on, Glue is just incredible. And I also really like Aura and Spring and stuff. So, great album. Probably my favourite of 2017. So yeah, check this one out. And now we come to the first one that's probably the first non-electronic album in the collection, and that is Childish Gambino's Awaken My Love. Um, I just saw this in HMV yet again one time for about £20, so that was pretty good. And obviously, you know, I only knew Redbone from the album and Have Some Love, but I played it on the old record player and it was really good, so yeah. I have to check this one out, it's an essential album of 2018. Next up we have probably the most recent album that I've bought, Better Living Through Chemistry by Fatboy Slim. This is arguably, in my opinion, just as good as, you know, You've Come A Long Way Baby. You know, there's just bangers on here, like Song For Lindy, Going Out Of My Head, Everybody Needs A 303. I actually think Song For Lindy is his best song, like, being anything else on the second album, so there's an unpopular opinion for you there. I just got this in Wales at like a random record stand. It was such a good find. So yeah, I love this album. It's in great condition as well. Also, what I will show you is the discs are actually yellow. Look at that, awesome. Next up is probably one that none of you have ever heard of. Well, some of you might have, but um, it's called Make Up Your Own Stories by Invisible Minds. I have mentioned this previously in my um, best album of every year since I was born video, but um. Yeah, this is just, it's quite an obscure one, but it's kind of, um, it's, I think it's on the same label as um, Bicep 1 and the Bonobo 1, so that's pretty cool. And it's just cool electronica stuff. Um, Autumn is definitely the best track on here, in my opinion, so if anything, check that one out. But yeah, make sure you look at this album. Great stuff. Next up is probably the cheapest and the oldest um, vinyl that I've got. Jean-Michel Jarre's Oxygen. Obviously, this has been owned before me many times. Probably it's very worn. But it still works absolutely fine. I just got it from a local record store. It was about four pound, which is excellent. And I, I listen to it quite regularly as well. So this was probably the best value for money I've ever gotten from a vinyl. So yeah, very good. Great album. And next up, we have actually the first vinyl that I ever bought. Music for Psychedelic Therapy by John Hopkins. You know, just in HMV once again, one time. 
looking for CDs and I thought might as well get a vinyl. I didn't actually have a record player at that point, but um, I got lended a record player and I, and I could play this. So very good, awesome album. This is just really good ambient stuff. You could easily fall asleep to it. So yeah, what I will say though is when I did buy this, I didn't know what genre it was and I wasn't expecting it to be like um, Immunity. But turns out it isn't like Immunity, but it was just as good. I love this album. So yeah. Next up we have the only hip hop album that I own on vinyl, Illmatic by Nas. Obviously this one's a classic, timeless hip-hop album, influential, all of that stuff. Favourites are probably Life's a B and The World Is Yours. Um, so yeah, very, very great album. I'm not that educated on hip-hop, honestly, so I can't really say much else about this, but just great vibes, great music. Next up we have probably the only down-tempo album that I own, Nightmares on Wax, Smoker's Delight. And I might have to reiterate what I said before about best value for money because this was £22 and there is four sides of excellent down tempo music and literally every song is a banger. Obviously, Night's Interlude might be my favourite and maybe Man the Journey as well. I really like those ones. But yeah, excellent album. I've listened to this so many times on my vinyl player. Just always in the mood for this. Such a vibe. Great album. Next up we have Phil Collins' Face Value. I got this at the same record store as I got the Fatboy Slim one in Wales. Um, I don't know whether you want to call this a pop album or a rock album, I'll leave it up to you. But um, yeah, obviously, In The Air Tonight, This Must Be Love, classic songs. Um, I have just been a huge Phil Collins fan for a while now, I haven't really been too vocal about that, but I absolutely love Phil Collins and I love Genesis as well. Just something about this guy's music is just great, so definitely check this album out, it's a classic. And finally, the last album in my collection I can definitely consider a rock album. Queen, News of the World, you know, Sheer Heart Attack. We will rock you, we are the champions, so many classic songs, although this is probably the only vinyl that actually has a bit of a mistake in it, I think it's in the middle of sheer heart attack, it just starts going a little bit fast, a little bit squeaky, but apart from that, you know, I, I just got it from a random record store one time for pretty cheap, so I can't really complain that much, but yeah, great album. So um, yeah, there are all my vinyls, comment which one, which album I own is your favourite out of my collection. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.